Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold yourself if you're coming across an issue with the Microsoft Edge CP.exe. This is experiencing high memory or CPU usage on your Windows computer. So it stands for Content Process. That's what the two letters stand for in the process name. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is select the menu icon up at the top right corner of the Microsoft Edge web browser and go down and you want to select settings. In the search settings field, type in startup boost. Where it says get to browsing quickly. When this is on, it helps Microsoft Edge open faster when you start your device. Go ahead and toggle that to the off position. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and just close out of here. And then I would recommend restarting your computer. So now that you've done that, hopefully that's resolved the problem. One further thing we can attempt would be just to reset Microsoft Edge back to default. So in order to do that, open up the search menu, type in settings. Best match should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select apps. And on the right side, underneath apps, you want to go ahead and select installed apps. And search for Edge. Best result should come back with Microsoft Edge. Go ahead and select the three-dotted icon next to it and select Modify. Select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And where it says Repair Microsoft Edge, repairing Microsoft Edge requires an internet connection and will reinstall the browser. Your browser data and settings won't be affected. Select Repair. And then once that's done, hopefully, again, that's resolved the problem for you. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.